Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing a brand new game called Warno. So pretty much the plot of this game is it's the summer of 1989 and there's a cold war between the communists and NATO and finally the cold war ends and it just turns red hot. So with that said, uh, there's a bunch of different stuff that you can kind of do in it. Um, I did all the tutorials already done. Uh, skirmish, where you can kind of just play 2v2 against uh, somebody else. Uh, operations. I did this first Black Horse Last Stand just as practice, and it took me a couple tries, but I, I knocked that out. Um, then there's multiplayer that you can do, and then lastly, the armory. So in the armory, you can pretty much just pick a division, and these are all the units that you can get inside of it. Um, I'm just going to be using the base ones, but you can also make your own divisions, which I think is super cool, and I will be doing that in the future. And pretty much in the divisions, you can get tanks, recon, artillery, infantry... AA, you can get a bunch of stuff. It's just an endless supply of different kind of stuff. But with that said, we are going to jump into the solo. I did an operation already, kind of pretty much. With that said, I've already... With that said, we're going to jump into a solo match. I've already done one operation. It was kind of fun, but the biggest thing that I want to try is the skirmish. So I'm going to turn these guys down to uh, easy. I'm just going to leave the medium on my team just because I need the extra help. But um, I'm not going to really change anything else on the scenario list because I don't really know what else we have to change. Let's launch on off and get into our first little skirmish. Okay, we get a metric crap ton of starting. Oh, snap. And I get a bunch of different things too. Oh my gosh, this is so much easier to look at. I don't know why... The last mission, it had everything kind of put in, jumbled into one thing. This is so much easier to try to grab stuff. Six tanks we can get. Okay, all right. Uh, with that said, let's try to figure out the best course of action. We can kind of go for the main area over here, or we can go for this side area. I think we're going to go for the main city and just kind of leave that part off to the side. Uh, we are 100% going to go for this hotel and kind of just base camp it right on over there. So I have yet to play a game where all the units are actually able to be received. So I think the best thing to do is a little bit of some anti-tank, anti some anti-air, a bunch of ground, and if I can afford an air unit, I'll take an air unit. I'll probably just want a bombing tank or... I'll probably just want a bombing airplane just because I'm going to be facing a lot of troops. I guess I could probably go air to air. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So this will be our first kind of little army uh, led by an M1A1 Abrams. We've got some good anti-tank. we got some good anti-air stingers in there and they're all infantry, which makes it even better. They're going to kind of just go down this highway here and try to control this middle of the map area. We are going to work on getting another army up here because we're going to want to try to contain this area. So this is kind of our, our front right here that we want to hold to. So let's work on our secondary army now. Okay. And a stinger team over there. Perfect. Sweet. That's perfect. You know what I just realized? I have this super duper strong army that's probably... It's, it's pretty strong together. But just realized I didn't get... I only got one supply and I got no scouts isn't ideal so we're just gonna go for it here move this bradley on over to here and we're just gonna grab everybody and just start moving them on up there boom and we're gonna move you guys on up over there oh my bro my teammate just went crazy over here on bravo and golf they didn't even go they sent like three they sent two abrams tanks over here that's literally it all right well that's fine we're just really going to have to push here because we're kind of by ourselves. So we're holding this front over here pretty strongly. I'm going to move our captain on over here because we now want to take over this town. So let's move over. Perfect. Get our supply truck over. Oh, geez. We have some T-50s. Not ideal. Over here, not ideal at all. Stinger team, I need you guys taking this stuff out. Fire team, I need you guys taking that out. There it is. Boom. All right. That's a kill. That's what we like to see right there. Sweet. So we've got these two areas captured on in, and we're kind of holding pretty nicely. I have a bunch of units that I can get here. So let's start moving a couple more Abrams tanks on up. I think that we for sure need an Abrams tank right over there. 
kind of holding down this middle area because there's a freaking T-80. And let's also get a plane in here as well. I'm thinking the F-1. To take that, that tank on out. Oh, they've already passed 50% of the points needed. Oh, it's because we don't have the freaking hotel yet. All right, well, we gotta go get this hotel. So we're gonna get a small army kind of going over here so we can kind of start pushing up a little bit more. Because if we're losing this bad right now, it's not looking amazing for us. We do have the hotel, which is nice though. All right, so we, we got our Abrams. We might just move up with our Abrams and our Stinger team. It kind of leaves this area kind of unguarded, but I think it's okay. Oh, geez. I feel bad for those soldiers. <laughs> Oh no, what is this? Back up. Back up. F-15, get this F-15 out here. Oh, nice. Dude, that F-15 F got out here so fast too. I think this is time where I start bringing supply drops out. So I'm trying to push up right now, but it's not looking great for us right now. So we're winning up on this battle over here. This battle over here though, I'm kind of being forced to push really hard, and it's not looking amazing. I'm gonna drop our unguided bomb at that T-80 over there, and wonderful, a MiG just popped in. Get this MiG, get this MiG, get this MiG. Money, let's go. Oh, they took out my plane. Anti-air really got me there. Keep pushing up. Keep pushing up. We got to keep on moving. We cannot stop. Oh, no. We just lit them up. Keep on going. They got anti-air over there, too. So if we can get that thing out, that would be ideal. These Bradleys are just going crazy. The only way that we win this war is if we capture these two points right here. So I'm moving our commander over here. To try to capture these two points and then right we can push up because my my friendly has like gone all the way up to the other end i mean i will say that he had kind of an easier route than i did but perfect a couple bradley's unload 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 we gotta move our squads up Perfect. All right, let's get some more Abrams tanks up here. I don't know what is over here, but it just messed up some of my guys. Oh, yikes. Abrams direct hit. Take that freaking building out. We just need that building out. There we go. All right, sweet. Move the commander on up. Bro. Why is there anti-air over here? I, I'm play I feel like I'm playing really aggressive right now, but I don't think I don't know. Perfect. It's ours. It's ours. Alright. Let's get some more Abrams out here. Get this F-15 out here. We need the F-15 out. Travel on out here. Cause he's gonna start shooting rockets. Get a shot, yes? Come on, F-15. Let's go. That anti-air though. You can get out. You can leave. I'm Just leave. Here. Just Yeah, okay. You did what you needed to do. Let's move our tanks on up for the next part here. What happened? Did we win or did we lose? It's a draw? I won't lie, though. I did not play all that well. We, I was starting to push towards the end, but so much stuff was happening that I just didn't even know what was going on. I was just like, oh, we just got to bring more people in here. There wasn't a lot of organization. My anti-air was... I don't know. I just couldn't do anything when a plane came. I felt like anti-tank wise, it was really good. Um, scouts probably would have helped out a lot more. The game, I felt like it was just going by so fast. I mean, it says 18 minutes, but it feels like it was just like two minutes. Honestly, we'll take. I mean, we got the most conquest. We didn't get the most kills by even close. And our losses were kind of bummy. We were kind of a negative loss gain. But once again, you know, honestly... Everything considered, that wasn't terrible for our first, like, real, real game. All right, I think this is what we're going to call it. First game of Warno in the books. It is an absolute blast, but there is so much stuff that's going on that sometimes I just need to, like, press pause and just 
think about what I'm doing. Because for for example, like that last game, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just starting to move the the transport trucks up for cover fire because that's all we needed was just freaking cover fire. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give a like and subscribe. And until next time, happy hunting.